Hello, beautiful people. Okay, so today we are going to be decorating a monogram letter. So the monogram letters are these. They are cardboard letters. Um, you can get them from Hobby Lobby. This is a 15 inch letter. They do have 12 inches, but they don't really hold the cupcakes too well. So this is the best one to get the 15 inch. These do hold the standard size cupcakes, okay? So that's your regular size cupcakes. Um, and what you will see once we start putting the cupcakes in there, you'll see how great that they fit in there. Now we're gonna start by cutting the tops off. This one, I already cut the top off. So when you purchase it, it will not look like this. It is going to look like this, okay? So I'm just gonna use that one to show you how to cut the top off since I already did the other one. Um, but I am doing that order for somebody for the L, so we're gonna go back and use the L in a minute. But I'm gonna show you how to cut this off. So it will come like this when you're looking for it in the store. You're going to take your little, um, oh, excuse me. You're gonna take your little knife and you can also get this at Hobby Lobby. And you're just going to cut um, the edges a little bit, okay? So we're not gonna go through and cut the whole thing and I'll show you why, because it's super simple. And I want you to be careful with this because this can hurt if you put your hand in the wrong location, okay? Also, there is a price tag on here. You just wanna take that off, okay? Nobody needs to see how much you paid for that. All right, so we cut that side. We're going to turn this way, and then we're going to cut this side. And with this, you usually only have to cut um, one side of it. This one's giving me a little difficulty here. Okay, let me keep my hand down here to keep it kind of steady. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this side and then we're just gonna go lift it up, okay? All right, so that should be good enough. And then we're just gonna put our hand in here and we're just gonna lift the rest of it. and just keep lifting. And as you'll see, they put extra cardboard in the center. Once we take this part off, we're just gonna take that cardboard out, okay? And you see it just comes up. So we just cut it a little bit, just enough to be able to get our finger in there. And then we're just pulling the rest of the cardboard up. All right, so we got that off. This is trash. This little bit stayed on, so we're just gonna pull that off. And then we're going to remove this. And there we are. And then now you can start putting cupcakes in the center. So now I'm gonna switch that back out and we are going to use our L, okay? All right, so let's take that one away. We'll put our L back. And then I'm going to grab the cupcakes and we're just gonna start putting the cupcakes in here. Now I have already decorated the cupcakes. This is not a decorating video. This is just strictly to show you how to um, decorate your letter. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cupcakes and we'll start putting them in the center. All right, so here are our cupcakes. These are the ones that we will be putting in the letter so we have two sort of three different colors here okay we have our light pink we have our rose gold and we have our white i tend to tell customers to pick um at least three different colors because it just looks better when you put it in your letter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this pretty flower here and we're going to set that in the center and just push that back a little bit and then, let's see, let's take, uh, let's take this white one. And these cupcakes, 
they came out super big. Some of them came out really big. Some of them came out really small. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Um, but so what I do is I put the bigger ones here in the center because they're going to be four that go here and they're going to be kind of smushed. So our smaller cupcakes, we will put it down here. All right. So now let's take a, let's see, I guess we would go with rose gold, but I kind of want to go with the white. Let's go with the white right here. And then let's do another rose gold. And then we'll do this one, I guess. No, let's do a white, because this one's kind of big. So we'll put that there. This is the fun part, you guys, trying to figure out where these cupcakes go and how they look good in the letter. All right, put that there. And here and these cupcakes are for I think she said it was for a bridal shower and this is their colors okay so there we go so we have the cupcakes in the letter now we need to decorate our letter okay we're gonna take tissue paper we're gonna cut it into squares and we're gonna insert it in these holes that are open because we don't want to leave it just like this open we want to actually decorate it to make people get you know, so it's worth the price of admission, so to speak. <laughs> All right, so let's grab our tissue paper and start in, uh, cutting them into square. Okay, so I have grabbed the tissue paper. Here it is. This is just regular tissue paper that you would use um, as gift wrap in like a gift bag. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut it into squares. Now, this one I have already used, so that's why it's kind of short. Um, this is the leftover of the white. We want our squares to be this size, if you can see what size I'm cutting it. Sometimes you can cut it along the line if it's the right size, but most of the time it's not. So you kind of just got to eyeball it. So we'll cut that and then let's line this up. And then we're going to cut it into squares. So we want to start about that wide and we want to cut this whole line of tissue paper. And it doesn't have to be super neat or exact because this is just going in between the holes so people are not really going to see this, it just kind of sticks out the top. All right, so there's our tissue paper, and now we wanna take it and we wanna separate it. Okay, so we just wanna go through and separate all our paper. It helps if you take um, either a napkin or a towel and just wet it, and then you want to um, just wet your fingers with it and then separate it. It'll help you go a whole lot faster because these stick together quite a bit. All right, so we have these separated. And then we're gonna need to take a stick and then that's how we're gonna insert them into the holes. So I am going to grab my stick. And once you start doing this more, you'll realize um, how many papers that you need to fill up a letter but just do enough like this right here should be enough to fill up this whole letter to where I don't have to cut any more um, paper but we'll stop right there and then we'll get our stick and start inserting them okay so here is our stick just a regular stick you can get this anywhere Hobby Lobby uh, Walmart Michaels, Joann's. So we're gonna take two sheets of paper, of these square papers. We're gonna take one in this hand, we're gonna take one and turn it sideways so that they overlap like this, okay? We're gonna take this stick, we're gonna set it right in the middle of that paper. We're gonna fold this paper up and then we're gonna stick it right in the hole. Also, before you go to put your cupcakes into your letter, you wanna make sure that your cupcakes have been sitting in the refrigerator 
for at least 10 minutes because you want your frosting to harden up. That way when you go putting this tissue in here, if you happen to accidentally hit the side of um, your frosting, it's not going to mess it up, okay? So always refrigerate your cupcake designs before you go putting it in the letter or even before you put it um, in a box to, um, you know, to give it to the person. Like if you're not even doing the letter, you're just putting it in your cupcake box. You always want to make sure you put it in the refrigerator first because you just, it's just a lot easier that way to make sure that you don't have too many mistakes. So we just want to go through and very carefully put them in these holes and that's just going to cover it up so that they don't see any spaces and just make your letter look that much better. Another thing is um, when you're buying these letters, each letter holds a different amount of cupcakes. So this one I think has nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, this is one of the ones that holds the least amount um, of cupcakes. I think this one is the least amount. So I charge the same price for every letter and number, no, man, no matter how many cupcakes it holds, okay? So like the letter B holds 16. I think that one holds the most cupcakes. So what I do is if any letter or number holds less than a dozen, then I just give the customer a dozen anyway. So this one should have um, three extra cupcakes on the side that'll just go in a regular cake box that I'll give to her with this letter to make sure that she has at least a dozen cupcakes. Just trying to be fair. I remember when I first started doing them, I didn't even think about that. And I guess um, someone had purchased it from me and they purchased the S and the S has 13 cupcakes. And so their friend purchased it for, um, for herself. And I think hers had, it was either 11 or 12. And so she was very angry with me because she didn't have enough cupcakes for her guests because she just, you know, assumed that the one that she got, even though it was a different letter, um, would have the same amount as her friend. So at that point, that's when I said, okay, I need to start, you know, letting people know how many cupcakes go into each letter. So when people purchase it, um, if they say, okay, I'm getting an M, then I'll say, well, your M holds 15 cupcakes just to let you know. So that way, too, they'll know, okay, well, I need 20, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase extra to put on the side. So just let your customer know how many. Um, I do have a list uh, that has how many cupcakes come with each particular letter or number. If you want me to send that to, me, to you, then you can email me, and then I will gladly send that to you so you can have that for reference. Okay, so here we go. So I just end up using the white because we had some white in here. I usually, if I do pink cupcakes, I don't usually like to use the pink tissue paper because I think it's just like really overpowering um, unless people ask for it. I like to use the tissue paper in the center just to hide those openings, not for it to be the star of the show. You want the cupcakes to be the star of the show. So here we go. I hope you guys like this. Um, I can show you how to package it. Um, what I put this in to deliver it. So this does not have a top, okay? So we would not be delivering this um, just like this to the customer. We need to be able to put this into a box. So I'm gonna grab the box right now so you can see um, how I package this and give this to my customer. Okay, so here is the box that I give it to the customer in. This is a clear box. Um, it does have a cardboard bottom. These are the extra cupcakes that I'll be giving to the customer as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick this into the box because it's small enough to fit in there um, with this particular letter, which is great because I don't have to put them separately. So then I'm just gonna pick up this letter and we are going to slide this into 
this box very carefully as to not drop it. And then we'll just slide it in there. And then we're just going to tuck these edges and we are going to close this. Now, I am quite sure that you want to know where I got my boxes because most people do. <laughs> I actually ordered these from China um, a year ago. I ended up ordering 2,500 of them. So I had a lot left. I am down to, I think, my last hundred now, so I need to order some more. But um, I had these boxes custom made because I was buying the letters from Hobby Lobby and then um, COVID happened and I couldn't get them anymore. And a lot of times they didn't have um, a lot of the letters that I needed. They were out and I would have to travel from like 10 to 12 different Hobby Lobbies looking for one letter. And I got tired of that. So I ended up finding a manufacturer that would make letters for me. So I got several thousand letters um, for me, but I ended up stopped working with them because it took my last shipment, took nine months to get to me. And so I had just went back to Hobby Lobby and started getting letters again. So my original letters um, that I had made, they were 16 and sometimes 17 inches, so they wouldn't fit into the regular boxes. So I had these boxes custom made um, to fit the letters. But I have looked everywhere trying to find these clear boxes. I have not been able to find them in the States. Um, if anybody knows where to get them, please tell me. But yes, this is my boxes. Um, and this is what I give it to my customer in. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you learned something. Um, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and um, tell somebody about me, okay? And I hope that you um, do one of these letters. And if you do, please let me know. Send me a picture. I would love to see what you have done. And hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.